Hello, and welcome to another Max 7 tutorial. This is tutorial number 44, Sound from Video. So let's get a new <clears throat> patcher window up there. Sorry about the cold, I'm a little froggy today, but that won't stop me. Because I'm excited, Max has finally gotten rid of something that's driven everybody crazy for years and most of you don't know about it so you don't have to worry about it. But that is called the SOC device which was how we used to get audio away from our movies. But I'm going to show you how to do it with the other object. So let's type an N on here and start typing JIT dot movie and you can see there's two JIT dot movies here, one with no tilde and one with a tilde. And the tilde means sound waves. So let's pick that one and double click on it. So we've got our JIT dot movie tilde there. And um, whoops, <laughs> and I guess I could have named it, but I didn't. So I'm going to stretch it out a little bit here so it's bigger. And now we're going to have to go get a movie. So one of the ways that we have uh, done this in the past is to uh, type a message. And in this case, we want, <coughs> excuse me again, uh, we want to read the, we, we could just type in read and then go try to find the movie, but we're not going to do that. We're going to just type in crash test dot mov. And you could click that connect it there. And in the interest of showing you new and exciting things to use, um, let's put a play bar on this one. So type N again and start typing play bar. And I saw it there for a second. There it is, play bar. Double click on that. And there is the play bar. And you can, whoops, connect it right there to the left inlet. <coughs> Let's resize it so that it looks nice. When you, when you get it too small, certain parts of it disappear, and uh, we don't want that to happen, but we, there we go. So now we can play the movie. We just need to be able to see the movie. So let's <coughs> make a, uh, what do we call that thing? Uh, da, 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 da. Well, we'll type the letter N and then we'll write JIT. Uh, P window, I think is what we're looking for. Yes, the JIT P window. And then we'll just click outside of it and it becomes the little black square that we know and love there. You know, if you, uh, you can make it all different sizes, but if you hold the shift button down, um, it keeps it in scale the way it's supposed to look. So I, I usually hold the shift button down. So there it is. And Here's a big surprise. It doesn't connect to this outlet, which as you can see now says audio out zero, meaning left. And this one says audio out one, meaning right, or however you like to think about it. But it's this one, the third one in. So this is new stuff here. And the uh, JIT movie matrix out is gonna go to the P window. And uh, we can just slide this over here so we can watch it, maybe even up there. <clears throat> and just make this bigger, push the shift key down and it'll blink to the right size. Now we can play our movie. I just locked my patcher by hitting command E and I'm going to hit play. And it's not doing anything. Oh, why? Oh, why? Because it didn't read anything yet. Hit read. It's already playing. There it is. And there is our uh, crash test movie. But the delightful sound that we've come to associate with the crash test movie is not there. And the reason is because the sound is coming out here and we don't have anything to play the sound. But that's what we wanted. So let's type N again. Oops, unlock our patcher. Type N and write EZ DAC tilde. Tilde means waves. So come on, easy DAC. So easy, you easy DAC. There you go. 
So there it is. And now we could just hook it directly up here. I think it would be kind of noisy. So I'm going to show you yet another new object. We could put the typical gain control in there. Notice also has a tilde. <clears throat> but the problem with this particular gain control is that it only, although it can output um, both, uh, it can output, but it can only do one channel. And this is probably a monaural recording, but we don't know that. So I'm just going to delete this gain, our typical gain, and I'm going to put in a live gain. Um, there it is. Whoop. Why not live gain? What did I do to uh, get away from live gain? Live dot G. There it is. Okay. So live gain tilde. Click outside it, and there we've got the live gain. <clears throat> and the nice thing about live gain is that it has a left inlet, which strangely they call channel one and right, which is channel two. <coughs> so we hook those up this way. We go down here and find channel one. We go down here and find channel two. And we lock our patcher and we make sure that the easy dax on and we let's turn the volume down before we blow anybody's eardrums out and there it is and let's see what we get so beautiful so beautiful let's turn that up a little bit there since I can turn it up and down. Fantastic. So that's the way to do it. Now, might I add, you can uh, put your... <coughs> <coughs> I am sorry. You can put your audio effects in there and or use the sound to drive whatever you want to drive. Um, but it's all there and it's inside your patcher waiting for you. So that's all for today. I'm going to go have a cough drop, and I will see you in the next patch. Patch well, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.